بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد ای الحبت فی اللہ امام البخاری رحمہ اللہ تعالی سیدن الصحیح قال قوله صلى الله عليه وسلم المسلم من سلم مسلمون من لسانه ويده والمهاجر من حجر من ناها الله عنه إن this حديث الصحيح إن صحيح البخاري and we ask that Allah سبحانه وتعالى continue to raise up Imam Bukhari رحمة الله عليه رحمة الواسعة and bless him with Jannatul Fardos, as well as all the Ahimmat uh, Sunnah. He said that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in this hadith, or this was entitled in his uh, Sahih, uh, the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said, Al-Muslim, the Muslim is the one who the other Muslims are protected from his tongue and his hand. And the muhajir, meaning the one who migrates, is the one who migrates from what Allah has prohibited. Ahabatifillah, this hadith, is concise but full of benefits. And this is the nature of a hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was blessed with jawami' akalam. He was blessed with saying things that were often so precise and short, but full of immense meaning. And this hadith, by just looking at this hadith, we see the importance of the honor of the Muslim and that a Muslim, Muslim should be safe from one or another that they should not harm one another through backbiting, and they should not harm one another by cursing one another, and they should not attack one another physically. And we also see from this hadith the importance of hijra or migration, and that one of the types of migration that is mashroor, and that is mentioned in a hadith as this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ illustrates for us is the one who makes hijra from their own sins. The Prophet ﷺ said, Wal-muhajir man hajra ma naha Allahu anhu. The muhajir or the migrant is the one who flees from those things which Allah has prohibited. So this is from taqwa, is to leave off sinfulness and to leave and remove yourself from those uh, sinful environments and avoid the prohibitions of Allah Azza wa Jal. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many sins and bless us to be of those who are the muhajireen fi sabilihi wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.